German chocolate cake. Okay. So it's 98 degrees here, and um, to bake a cake today is probably a foolhardy thing to do, but here goes. One and three-fourths cup of flour, three-fourths of cocoa, one and three-fourths cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of espresso, one half a cup of canola oil, two eggs, three-fourths cup of yogurt, one half cup of buttermilk, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one half cup of coffee. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm assembling all that together and uh, making it happen. And uh, I was uh, obviously removing the uh, eggshells from the eggs that I put in there. Because who wants eggshells in their uh, cake? More eggshells, please. No, no, thank you. So, um, all those ingredients that I just listed, I'm assemb assembling them here. So, putting the uh, wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and then adding my coffee a little bit at a time. And um, after I got that all incorporated, I put that in two prepared pans, two greased and floured and lined pans that I had prepared earlier because I knew I was going to be doing this. And then I baked those cakes in the oven for, well, I'm not real sure how long because uh, my little oven had an incident and it was it was crazy they they weren't getting done i should have baked them one at a time i didn't but anyway they did come out uh, the recipe said to bake them about 25 minutes each and that might have worked if they were individually baked but it didn't work for me so the best way to do it is just bake them until they're done until a, a probe inserted comes out clean and it springs back when you touch it. So that's that's how you tell about that. So here's the uh, coconut part of the uh, cake. That was a can of evaporated milk and um, three egg yolks and a stick of butter. I should have added a uh, cup of brown sugar as well, which I did later after I had gone through all the trouble of getting this up to temperature I then had to add it and do it again uh, it doesn't seem to um, cause any harm I just had to do a little bit more mixing and uh, this kitchen is about as hot as that burner uh, so 98 outside, 130 in here, I don't know. Uh, I was a little delirious, almost about to pass out at this point. And, uh, but I kept going, just kept going, push on through it. You know, just keep mixing, stirring, whisking, until it comes up to a bubble. And once you get there, and it's nice and thick, you can turn the heat off and add your other things. Um, vanilla, coconut, and pecans. And then you can let this cool, which will take quite a while, and it might not happen um, because um, its surroundings are not cool. They're quite warm, actually. But there's the coconut. And let, here goes with the pecans. Now, I hope I get points for effort on this. My uh, cake did finally get done. And it looked fairly decent. 
at this point. But I'm not done. So I made a chocolate buttercream frosting, a little bit of salt, a cup of butter, about three and a half cups of confection sugar, icing sugar, or whatever you want to call it, sugar. But I beat the butter up first. Just beat it. Just beat it. Yeah, okay, I won't say. Uh, but beat the butter. Add the sugar. Add a half a cup of cocoa. And a little bit of vanilla. And about three tablespoons of heavy cream. And then I get to town on mixing it up again. Just beat it. Just beat it. Okay, I'm sorry. And, uh, then once that's done, ideally you'd wait for everything to just cool down completely um, and assemble it no problem. I did cut my layers of cake in half uh, so that I have four layers. But it, since my uh, coconut part wasn't quite cool and um, it, it started looking like the Tower of Pisa um, about a hundred years after it was constructed um, so it's kind of looking like one of those cakes from Nailed It but um, I, I think it's going to be good anyway and um, who's to say I didn't mean for it to look like this I mean you don't know why, why am I admitting fault I, I just I shouldn't see so just just push it back up See how I might not should have done it, but I done it anyway. Just just push it right back up, and and throw some throw some coconut on it, and maybe some more pecans. I mean, you know, cover it up, and then nobody will even know that it's that it's leaning. And then cover it up some more. So yeah, 